freeze mouth pipe removal, dent removal cable. Here we have a unique tool. It's designed so that we do not have to remove the lead pipe off of the tuba. Okay? We can use, the, use this tool by pushing the screw and pulling the dents out. Okay? Uh, we'd normally have a receiver on the lead pipe and we would continue on. To use this tool, we're going to use our trusty N57G. Typically, those will be the ones covered in our dent ball set. Okay? We're probably using the neighborhood of this line here in the 600 range uh, up to possibly 700, depending on the tuba. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the tool a little bit more thoroughly. Okay? What we have is a cable that pulls through. Okay? This is where we'll pull place a dent bowl on. We have an end piece that will screw off. Okay. Place this back on. We have a coil that's going to allow us to wrap around in a driving. This allows us to pull the cable okay, and push it back in as we see fit. We have a driver here that we're able to push with and pull on. Okay. On the tuba, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the main tuning slide or the lead pipe tuning slide so we can actually access it. Moving around, this cutaway is going to allow us to do is work this in. Take the cable, we run it through the mouth pipe receiver the horn, you can hear that noise, you may want to throw some lubricate okay, on the cable. I typically do not because I don't want it where the player is breathing. Okay. We force the cable through. Okay. We back the camera up and get a nice view now. We simply would unscrew the end, place the appropriate size ball. on the cable, screw the end piece on. Now before we can do anything, what we're going to do is we're going to grab it and we're going to pull until our ball comes in tight to the cable. Slide this thing back and now we're going to be inside the lead pipe. We're going to find ourselves using the magnet. Okay. Now it's important to understand that you're going to have the magnet sticking over here all the way through because the cable itself actually sticks. Okay. So we have to work on it. We, we want to find the greatest resistance. One of the biggest things we should do is come from the opposite end. Okay. Now let's have a quick look at this. We're going to pull this out. The action would simply be to drive it in using the cable to push it out. Okay using the pull handle to pull tight to work it up the lead pipe. Okay? When we're done, simply push it out. Now we're at the end of our piece. What we're going to see is we've got the magnet stick in here, here, and here. If you happen to own some of the other P-series tools from Faris, you may want to grab one of their brass balls so it does not stick here. I believe the reason they use steel is because you want a little bit greater strength in this area. However, I believe the brass will work. Okay? So because the ball is going to be the largest part, it should have the strongest resistance when we're working through the cable. As you notice here, I can feel it stick, but it's not as strong. Okay? Once you're done, simply pull the cable. Unscrew the ball, replace your ball, replace the protective nut on the end. Now the reason it's round is to prevent it from scratching in the tube, okay? And the reason most of this cable is round, it will not do any great harm, but it would have been nice to see some sort of Teflon coating in that to prevent it from doing any scratching in the lead pipe. Simply remove the tool. lead pipe should be dead free. You haven't removed it, you have no refinishing area, and you are done.
that's how the tools used thank you